extended child's pose, walking your fingertips towards the front of your space as you sink your hips back. A reminder at any point during practice, this pose is available to you. If at any point the breath starts to become ragged or forced, it might be a good indication to take a moment of pause and return to this familiar shape, rerouting and regrounding into your practice. When you feel ready to move, come up to a tabletop pose. Step your knees underneath your hips. Palms come underneath your shoulders. Start to draw the low belly up and in. And press into those palms, find a little protraction through the shoulders, gaze is down, neck is long. And on your next inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, lift the gaze, cow pose, stretching open through the front line body. Exhale, press into the mat, chin in towards your chest, doming through the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart, cow pose. Exhale, press the mat away, chin to chest, rounding for your calf. Couple more rounds on your own, exploring the flexion and extension in the spine. Feeling free to add any additional movement here that feels good. Maybe you circle out the hips, bend the elbows, shift your weight forward and back. And just taking a couple rounds of breath here to start acquainting yourself with how the body feels this morning. Noticing if there's any spots that are feeling sticky or feeling tight, anywhere that's calling your attention that might need a little extra nurturing and care throughout practice. Take three more full rounds of breath here. After that third round of breath, return to a neutral spine, tuck your toes, and then walk your hips back to sit onto your heels. So we're stretching out through the soles of the feet, rise the torso up. If at any point this becomes too much for you, you can always lift your hips up and give yourself a little break. Stretching out through the soles of the feet, invite your arms out to a T, and then eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left, or option to grab for opposite shoulders and give yourself a little hug. Now draw your elbows over towards the right side of your space, opening up through the back side of the heart. Inhale draws you back through center. Exhale, elbows go over to the left. Inhale to come back through center and unravel. Lift your hips up, giving those feet a little bit of a break. Circle sweep your arms up. And then exhale, sink the hips back. Arms come out to a T. This time you eagle wrap your left arm underneath your right or grab for opposite shoulders, giving yourself a little squeeze. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, elbows come over towards the left. Inhale back through center. Exhale, elbows over to the right. Inhale, back through center. Stand up tall as you sweep your arms up to the sky. And exhale, return to your tabletop pose. Root your palms into the mat. Top of the feet come into the earth. Give yourself a little drum roll here. Press the top of the feet into the mat. Stretch out through the top of the feet. And then pausing back through center. Tuck your toes. Press your hips up and back. First downward facing dog of practice. Pedal out your feet, finding some movement. Stretch out through the backs of the legs, finding that little sense of curiosity as you start to wake up through the lower half of the body. You might shift your weight forward into a plank and back to a down dog a couple of times and let the hips sway from side to side. Taking your little rituals, whatever movement feels good. Take a big breath in through the nose. Take a full clearing round of breath out the mouth. <sighs> Start to settle into stillness here. Heels are energetically drawing towards the earth. You might invite a soft bend into the knees and then spread the sits bones a little further away from one another. Keep melting the heart towards the upper thighs and release the neck. Come high up onto your tippy toes and start to walk to the top of your space. Bring your feet forward slowly to meet your hands. When you arrive at the top of your space, feet are hip width distance apart. Take a soft bend into your knees and grab for opposite elbows for ragdoll. Really let the weight of the head release down towards the mat. Soft bend into the knees, maybe sway the torso from side to side. Just releasing and letting go. First deep forward fold of practice. Keep the belly drawn in. And just release and let go. Start to soften your hands down towards the earth. Keep that soft bend into your knees and slowly unfurl the spine as you roll up to standing. Bringing your shoulders all the way up to your ears as you arrive. And then set your shoulders down the back, root through your feet, palms shine forward, standing Shavasana. Close your eyes. 
Take a big round of breath. Inhale, fill up from the feet all the way through the crown of the head. Big open mouth, exhale. Opening up your eyes, circle sweep your arms towards the ceiling. Gather your palms to touch overhead. As you exhale, cactus your elbows wide. Press your hips forward, lift through the heart. Inhale is the extension of your fingertips high. Exhale is a forward fold, soften into your knees as you release your prayer hands towards the earth. Inhale is a halfway lift and lengthen fingertips to shins. Draw the crown of the head forward, spread the sits bones, and then as you exhale, refold. One more like that. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold and soften. Step your right foot back for a low lunge. Tent onto your fingertips. Inhale, lift the gaze up. Exhale, just one time, glide your hips back. Breathing into the hamstrings, melt the heart over that extended left leg. You might dial the left toes up towards the ceiling to get a little deeper into this hamstring stretch if that's what you need right away. Couple more rounds of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Breath in. And breath out. Return to your low lunge on your inhale. Plant your palms, downward facing dog, left foot meets your right. Inhale, ripple forward to a high plank fold. As you exhale, knees lower to lift and soften all the way down to the belly. Hug the elbows in tight as you release all the way down to the mat. Top to the feet, press into the earth. Little to no weight in your hands. With your inhale, roll the shoulders open. Come into your first baby cobra. Gaze is down, neck is long. And then as you exhale, soften and release back down. Two more just like that. Inhale, half lift up for your cobra. Shine the heart forward. Exhale, soften and release back down. One more time. Inhale, rise up for cobra. Exhale, release. Tuck your toes, press into your palms, high plank to rise. Downward facing dog, send your hips up and back. Inhale, stretch your right leg high, three-legged down dog. Bend your right knee, stack right hip open on top of left for a scorpion down dog. Start to circle out that knee and ankle. Left heel is energetically drawing towards the earth. Stay rooted into both palms and keep your shoulders square to the front of your mat. Start to lengthen that right leg long back behind you, three-legged down dog. Exhale, right foot steps forward in between your hands, low lunge. As you look forward, step forward, right into a halfway lift. Left foot meets your right. Crown of the head reaches forward, fingertips to shins. Exhale, refold. Inhale as you rise to mountain. As you root through your feet, circle sweep your arms to the sky. Exhale, cactus your elbows wide, baby back bend. Press the hips forward, lift through the heart. Inhale, rise it up mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Bend through your center, release the hands down. Halfway lift, inhale. Refold, exhale. Left foot steps back, low lunge. Tent onto the fingertips to create a little bit more space. Lift the gaze as you inhale. Exhale, glide the hips back. Straighten out that right leg any amount and release the forehead towards your shin. Maybe you dial those right toes up, flexing through your right foot to get a little deeper into your hamstring. Couple more rounds of breath here. Where can you soften and let go? Release the heart space down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale is your return to a low lunge. Bend into your right knee. Plant your palms downward facing dog. Right foot meets your left. Inhale is your ripple forward to high plank. This time we'll take three rounds of chaturanga push-ups. Knees lowered or lifted. As you inhale, come down partway. Hug your elbows in tight. Exhale, press back up. High plank. Inhale, lower down partway. Exhale, high plank. Last time, inhale, lower down, chaturanga push-up. Exhale, high plank is where we'll meet. Hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Awesome work, big breath in. Big breath out. Sweep your left leg high, three-legged down dog. Bend that left knee, stack left hip open on top of right. You're in your scorpion down dog, circling out your left knee and ankle. Waking up into that left hip. Continue to square your shoulders to the front of the mat, equal weight pressing into both of your palms. Stretch that left leg long back behind you, inhale. Exhale is a low lunge, left foot steps between your hands. As you gaze forward, step forward right into your halfway lift. Fingertips to shins, crown of the head reaches forward. 
Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, rise it up strong. Exhale, baby, back bend. Cactus the elbows wide, lift through the heart, lift through the gaze. Inhale, re-extend, mountain. Exhale, hands come down into the space of your heart as you release. Close your eyes, take a big round of breath. Let's seal in those intentions with a communal inhale. Big open mouth, exhale. All right, sun cell A, inhale, send your prayer hands high, lift your gaze. Exhale, open up the arms, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step, or if you're ready, hop back for chaturanga. You can always modify dropping your knees. Inhale as your upward facing dog, or maybe take a baby cobra. Exhale, down dog, hips to the sky. Three rounds of breath and down dog. <sighs> Smooth out your inhales to meet your exhales. Press into all four corners of your palms. Draw the belly up and in. Next, inhale, heels go high, knees go low, gaze beyond the top of your space. As you exhale, step, step, or hop, bring your feet forward to meet your hands. When you arrive, lengthen out with your halfway lift on your inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale as you rise to standing as you circle sweep up. Exhale, gather your hands in the space of your heart, drawing your energy back in. Inhale, send those prayer hands high. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Spread the sits bones as you release to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop back, high to low plank. Remember to modify dropping the knees if that's in your practice. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, we all meet in downward facing dog. Remember that all of these vinyasas are optional, as is everything in class. This is your time to connect with your body and your breath. Feel free to add on whenever you need to, to leave out stuff that does not serve you. Really honor what your body needs today. Inhale, lift those heels high. Exhale, bend the knees low. Gaze beyond the top of your mat. Step, step, or hop, feet to hands. Halfway lift, inhale, breath. Refold, exhale, breath. Inhale as you rise to mountain, circle sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart, draw it back in. One more time like that. Inhale, send those prayer hands high. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Halfway lift and lengthen, inhale. Exhale, plant your palms, step or hop back. Find your flow, we'll meet in that downward dog. <sighs> Coming into that down dog, returning to breath. Three strong inhales and exhales. You might notice already that you've created more length in the back of the legs, a little bit more openness in the shoulders and in the heart. On your next inhale breath, sweep your right leg high to the sky, three-legged down dog. And as you exhale, curl knee in towards your nose, starting to warm up that core. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, knee towards nose. One more time, inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, knee to nose, pausing there. Step it forward to your low lunge. So your right knee is stacking over your right ankle. Really firm up through the thighs, firm up through the belly, and then sweep your arms back behind you, incline lunge. Stretching the heart forward, back heel is lifted, left leg is super engaged. As you inhale, start to sweep your arms up, come into your crescent lunge. Beautiful, then bring your arms out to a T. Eagle wrap your left arm underneath your right. Inhale is the rise of your arms up, and stay for your exhale, coming into a nice little back bend. Bringing your elbows back in line with your chin, fingertips are pointing up. We have a big transition here to a goddess squat. Root that back heel down, pivot your toes open, heels in, and then sink the hips low. Keep your eagle arms. Sink the seat a little bit lower, tailbone lengthening towards the earth. As you inhale, send those arms back up. Exhale, draw your elbows towards your belly, crunch it in. Keep those eagle, or those goddess legs, pardon me, as you inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, curl it in, elbows towards your belly button. One more time, inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, curl it in, pausing there. Maybe sink a little lower, getting a little juicier into those thighs. One more inhale. Exhale, open up to a star pose. Root through your feet as you sweep your arms open, take up space. Really lengthen from fingertips to fingertips. Root into the edges of the feet. 
Open up through the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior two to the front of the mat. Bend into your right knee. Extend your arms out long on the horizon. Check in with that back foot. Make sure you're pressing into the outer edge of your left foot and that your toes are dialed slightly forward. Deep bend into that right knee. Lengthen tailbone down, knit lower ribs in. Let's start to move some energy with sun breaths. Keep your feet just as they are. As you inhale, straighten out that right leg, palms connect overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, rise up, palms connect. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale is your lift. Exhale, warrior two, pausing there. Keep your legs just as they are. Flip that right palm towards the ceiling, dance it up and back, peaceful warrior. Keep stretching your right knee forward, opening through side body. Inhale, and exhale. One more inhale breath here, maybe creating a little bit more length through that right side. As you exhale, cartwheel your hands down, frame out your front foot, step it back, high plank. Option to stay right here or find a flow. Take what you need, we'll meet in our downward facing dog. When you arrive back in your down dog, couple rounds of breath to root and ground. Let that movement integrate, let it settle. If at any point you need to release heat from the body, you can let a big sigh out of the mouth and let go. Inhale, sweep your left leg high, three-legged down dog. Exhale, curl knee to nose. Inhale to sweep it back and high. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time, inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, knee to nose, pausing there. Start to step that left foot forward between your hands, low lunge. Take a moment here to set this pose up. Keep that left knee stacking over your left ankle. Really firm up through that back leg. Pluck up that right hamstring. Get light into the fingertips. Activate the core, sweep your arms back behind you, incline lunge. Crown of the head is reaching forward, staying broad and open through the collarbones. Your next inhale is the rise of the arms, full crescent lunge, sweep the arms high. Settle the shoulders down the back. Invite your arms out to a T. This time, eagle wrap your right arm underneath your left. Stay committed to that lunge into your left knee. Maybe start to lift the fingertips up, opening through the heart, lifting the gaze to follow. Energetically drawing those inner thighs in towards one another. Reaching the crown of the head high, bringing those elbows back in line with your chin. And then it's your big pivot open to your goddess squat. Heels in, toes out, sink those hips low. Sink a little bit lower, get a little bit deeper into those thighs. Inhale, reach your eagle arms high. Exhale, draw your elbows into the belly. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, crunch it in. One more time, inhale as your lift. Exhale, elbows towards your belly button, pausing here. Maybe sink a little lower into your seat. One more inhale. Exhale, explode open, star pose. Take up space, sweep your arms out, bright through the heart, lift it through the chest, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, bend into your left knee, sink the hips low. Couple rounds of breath here. Check in with this first warrior two on this side. Check in with the details of your pose. Smooth out the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let's get that prana moving with those sun breaths. Inhale, straighten out your left leg. Palms connect overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Bend it back down. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, warrior two. Bend and release. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Keep that bend into your left knee, flip your left palm towards the ceiling, tip it up and back for peaceful warrior. Gently stretching that left knee forward, getting open through the side body. One more big inhale breath here, find a little bit more length from your hip crease to your armpit. As you exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step it back, high plank. Pausing here, or move through your flow, chaturanga to up dog. Take what you need. We'll all meet in the down dog, floating the hips up and back. When you arrive in your down dog, smooth out the breath. Inhale. And exhale. All right, let's layer on that flow. Inhale, sweep your right leg high. Exhale, curl, knee to nose. Inhale, stretch it up back and high. Exhale, knee to nose. 
One more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to nose, pausing there. Draw your knee to your right elbow, to your left, to your right, to your left, to your right. Last time to the left, to the nose, pop up the space between the shoulders. Low lunge is your release, step that right foot through. Start to sweep your arms back behind you, return to your incline lunge, reach the torso up, belly button draws up and in. Inhale, rise to crescent. A round of breath here to settle. Maybe get a little deeper into that right knee. And sweep your arms out to a T, left arm eagle wraps underneath your right. A little bit different this time, we'll take this into a soaring eagle. Start to transfer the weight into your right foot, get light in those left toes and start to pluck them off. So your eagle arms are reaching towards the front of your space. You still have this uplifted energy through the chest and through the heart. Really firm up through that lifted leg, either point or flex your toes and keep that left hip in line with your right. Breath in, breath out. Embracing the wiggles onto your right standing leg, strengthening through the proprioceptor cells. One more inhale breath here. Exhale as a release, high lunge. Left toes step back to the mat, and then pivot goddess squat. Heels in, toes out, keep those eagle arms. Inhale, send them up high. Exhale just one time, curl it in. Inhale, explode open, star pulls, take up space. Exhale, warrior two, front of the mat, bend into that right knee. A round of breath to settle, inhale. And exhale. Little different this time, start to straighten out that right leg. Bump your back leg in slightly, hips go back, right arm reaches forward, trikonasana triangle pose. Right fingertips release down to your shin, maybe to one of your props, or hover above the mat. The left arm is stretching up towards the sky, maybe gaze is following, or option to turn and look down at that right foot. Take the choice that feels good on your neck this morning. Finding length through that left side body. Think about rotating that right rib cage forward. Just like bend into that right knee to help keep from hyperextension. One more big round of breath here, inhale. Stay for your exhale. Bend into your right knee, warrior two legs, bring it back to peace. Bring that right arm all the way up and back. Big side body stretch to reset, gently yearning that right knee forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Right forearm to right thigh. Left arm could reach towards the sky or bring your bicep by your ear. We're creating a long line of energy from the outer edge of that left foot all the way through the crown of the head. Try not to dump your weight into your right elbow. Lift up and out of that right hip crease using the strength of your obliques. You have a couple rounds of breath here. Feel free to explore whatever arm variation you need. Maybe it's a half or a full bind. Maybe you hold on to an imaginary beach ball overhead, really firing up through the obliques. Two more rounds of breath wherever you are. Inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath here. Binds will start to release. Our transition is a skand asana side lunge to the back of the mat. Shift the weight into that left foot and then sink the hips low. Right toes might dial up towards the ceiling. Skandasana can look really different depending on how your hips and hamstrings are feeling today. So maybe it's a little bit higher up like this, or maybe you sink down. If you always sink right into your flexibility, maybe challenge yourself to work more in strength today. That's really hard for me from that school class yesterday, so I'm gonna sink into my flexibility and come low. Couple rounds of breath here, inhale. And exhale. Your fingertips might stay connected to the mat. Maybe plant that left arm and extend your right arm up, opening up the arms, opening up the heart. Releasing your hands down to the mat, low lunge to the front of your space. Crawl your way forward. Let that left hand stay rooted. Sweep your right arm up. You're in a grounded and rooted twist. Right fingertips are yearning high. Left palm is connected to the mat. This might be right where you stay and work. Or if you'd like Bashi Stas in a side plank, pivot onto the outer edge of your back foot, shack your right foot to meet your left. Option to drop a knee down to support yourself. Maybe lift a leg up to intensify. Find a place where you can stay for three rounds of breath. You've got this, yogis. Inhale, exhale. Breath in, breath out. Final inhale, 
As you exhale, it's a forward facing plank. Well, it's where we'll meet. Both hands to the mat, 10 toes to the earth. Fire up through the belly. Inhale, stay here or flow. Meet me in the downward facing dog. When you arrive back in your home base, let's take a big clearing round of breath. Inhale, make some noise. Exhale. One more like that, big breath in. Second side, inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, curl, knee to nose. Inhale, lift and extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Last time, inhale, reach it up back and high. Exhale, knee to nose, pausing there. Draw your knee to your left elbow, across to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Last time to the right, pull it into the nose, inhale. Low lunge, step it forward as you exhale. Mm. Sweep your arms back behind you, incline lunge to rise. You're in the heart space forward. Firm up through the legs. Your next inhale is your rise to crescent. Sweep your arms up. Tailbone is angling down. Lower ribs are knitting in. Arms extend out to a T. Eagle wrap right arm underneath your left. We'll find flight in our soaring eagle as you're ready. Wait into that left foot. Pluck up the right toes and send your eagle arms forward. Keeping that right hip in line with your left. Embracing those little wiggles. Know if that left leg spits you out, you can always get right back in. One more full round of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Big step back to your high lunge. Keep those eagle arms as you rise. Pivot open, goddess squat. Sink those hips low. Inhale, send your eagle arms high. Exhale, curl it in one time. Elbows to your belly button. Inhale, open up, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Left toes turn to face towards the front of the mat. Bend into that left knee. Couple rounds of breath here to settle. Draw that grounded, rooted energy up from the earth. Let it saturate the entire body. Inhale. And exhale. Straighten out your left leg. Maybe bring your back foot in slightly, setting up for triangle pose. Bump your hips back. Left arm stretches forward until it has nowhere else to go. Fingertips settle down to your shin, maybe to your thigh, or all the way to a block. That right arm is stacking on top of your left. Fingertips are reaching towards the ceiling. Rotating those left side ribs. Opening up a little bit more through the heart, staying broad and lifted through the collarbones. Imagine as if I'm standing right behind you. Can you lean the back of the heart space into me, knowing that you are held, opening up a little bit more through the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Your release is a peaceful warrior. Warrior two legs. Bend into that left knee. Sweep your left arm up and back. Big side body opening to reset. Exhale, extended side. Left forearm to left thigh. Right arm reaches towards the sky or track your bicep by your ear. First, just a couple rounds of breath in this supported variation, really focusing in on the foundation of your pose. Try to stay light in those left toes, give them a little wiggle, really root through the outer edge of that right foot. Maybe you explore a different arm variation, really working to keep that strong foundation. If you go into a bind and you start to lose it, that could be a good indication to back off. Three more rounds of breath wherever you are. Inhale. Maybe stretch those right fingertips a little further forward as you exhale. While stretching those right fingertips forward, can you settle your shoulders back down out of the neck? One more round of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Binds will release. Meet me in a skandhasana to the back of your mat. Shift that weight into your right foot and then find that depth that feels good on your hips. Left toes might dial up towards the ceiling. Hands can stay at the space of your heart. They can release all the way down to the mat. Maybe you fly that left arm towards the ceiling. Really working to keep that right foot fully rooted into the mat. Maybe that means you come up a little bit higher to find that stability. You've got this yogi's awesome work. One more inhale breath here. Stay for your exhale. Use the support of your hands, low lunge to the front of your mat, crawl your way forward. Root your right arm, right palm into the mat, left arm yearns up, grounded twist. Let your gaze follow towards those left lifted fingertips. Stay right as you are or find your Vashistasana side plank. 
root into that right hand as you pivot onto the outer edge of your right foot and stop your left foot to meet your right. Option to drop a knee or lift a leg. Find your variation. You're here for three or two. And one, meet me in a forward facing plank as you inhale, plant the palms, ten toes to the mat, firm up through your core. Exhale, down dog, or find your flow. Clear away with your vinyasa. Nice, Lisa, I saw that. <laughs> and let's come back to the downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Big inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Sink your knees down to the earth. Lengthen your arms forward. Return to this familiar shape that we started practice with. And you let your breath start to settle. Smooth it out. Maybe find that gentle rock of your forehead side to side. Taking a moment here, revisit that intention that you set for practice. Revisit that dedication and come back into your breath. Let's take three big rounds of clearing breath here before we come into our final sequence of standing work. Just as we started claps, big inhale through the nose, feel the back body saturate with breath. Exhale, open mouth, sigh. <sighs> inhale, let this breath be even bigger. Exhale, let it be more audible, release. <sighs> One more time, big breath in. Give me a big Wednesday sigh. Exhale, let it go. Feel free to stay here for as long as you need, friends. If you are ready to transition back into more standing work, we have one final sequence to do. Meet me in your downward facing dog. You might take a flow on your way there, move through a chaturanga up dog, maybe some handstand kickups or some cat cows. Take whatever you need to energize yourself to get ready for that final sequence. When you return to your downward facing dog, a couple big rounds of breath. Inhale. And exhale. Breath in. And breath out. Next inhale, stretch that right leg high, three-legged down dog. As you exhale, step your right foot forward, in between your hands. This time it's a warrior one. Let's build this pose from the ground up. Pivot the outer edge of that left foot to root into the mat. Stabilize into that right foot as you start to rise your arms up. So same as in our high lunge, your hips are square to the front of the mat. Maybe bring your hands to your hips and gently guide that left hip forward and right hip back. Think about your feet being on railroad tracks rather than a tightrope. So you might widen the distance between your feet a little bit in order to create more space for those hips to move forward. Awesome, bring those arms out to a T. Eagle wrap your left arm underneath your right or grab for opposite shoulders, giving yourself a hug. Inhale is the rise of the chest. Exhale is a devotional eagle. Draw your eagle arms to the inseam of your right knee. Release the head down. Fingertips might come to touch down to the earth. Really stay committed to that lunge into the right knee. Couple rounds of breath here. Let your heartbeat settle. Inhale. And exhale. One more round of breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Keeping your eagle arms just as they are as you inhale, rise the torso back up. Now pluck up the back heel, coming into an eagle high lunge. From here, we'll move back into that soaring eagle. Start to pitch the heart forward. Lift those left toes up. And big transition. Draw that left knee up and in. You're in a one-legged eagle tadasana. Bend through your standing leg, stack your left knee on top of your right. We're coming into our full expression of Garudasana Eagle Pose. Toes can stay connected with the earth as a kickstand, or maybe you sink a little lower and find a double wrap. So we're finding length from the torso all the way up through the crown of the head, and then sinking a little lower into the seat. Think about drawing everything in towards the center line, hugging everything in tightly. Breath in and breath out. Awesome concentration, yogis. One more inhale breath. Stay for your exhale breath. Unravel the feet, unravel the arms. Circle sweep up, tall mountain pose. Exhale, fold, release. 
Hands down to the earth, feet are hip width distance apart. Take a generous bend into your right knee, place your right palm in between your hands, and then spiral your left arm up towards the sky. Coming into a twist, stretching out through that right IT band, maybe lift your gaze to follow up towards your left lifted fingertips. Broadening through the collarbones, inhale, and exhale. Let's switch out sides, release the crown of the head down. Straighten out that right leg, bend into your left knee, place your left palm in between your feet, and then stretch your right arm towards the sky. Getting into that right side IT band now, opening up through the heart, maybe lift your gaze to follow your fingertips. Hmm. And return your right palm down to the mat, straightening out both legs. Inhale is a halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale to refold. You choose how you would like to get back to your down dog. Maybe it's a moment of play in a crow pose. Maybe you'd like a handstand hop. Or maybe you just want to step back directly to down dog. Conserve your energy in a way that feels good to you. Move through a flow. Take a couple rounds of breath to take what you need. We'll all be back in the down dog, floating those hips up high. Taking a round of breath together, inhale. And exhale. All right, this is it, folks. Last bit of standing work. Taking that sequence on the other side. Inhale, stretch your left leg high. Exhale, warrior one. Step your left foot between your hands. Pivot that back foot to root into the mat. Really strong through your foundation as you rise the arms up. Bring your hands to your hips once again. This time, help to orient that right hip forward and left hip back. And lengthen the tailbone towards the earth. Knit those lower ribs in towards one another. Extend your arms out to a T. This time your right arm will eagle wrap underneath your left or grab for opposite shoulders. As you inhale, peel the gaze up, lift through the heart. Exhale, devotional eagle. Soften your shoulders to the inseam of that left knee and release the weight of the head down. Can you soften through your neck and let go of the weight of the head? Really actively pressing into the outer edge of that right foot to keep pulling your right hip forward. One more full round of breath here. Let the heartbeat settle. Inhale. And exhale. Keeping your eagle arms, use the strength of your core as you rise up. Eagle warrior one. Pop onto the ball of the back foot, lifting that right heel. Now start to pitch your heart forward, soaring eagle. Lift those right toes up. Just a round of breath here to transition. And we'll slowly draw that right knee up and in, one-legged eagle arm Tadasana. Bend into your standing knee, stack that right knee on top of your left. The toes can kick stand to the earth. Maybe you find that double wrap and squeeze everything in towards the center line. <sighs> Breathing into the space behind the heart as you stretch your shoulders open. Belly button to spine, maybe sink a little lower into the hips and find a little bit more lift through those eagle arms and through your heart. One more inhale breath here. Awesome concentration, yogis. Exhale, open up, arms sweep to the sky, feet root to the mat. Standing tall in your mountain pose, exhale, fold through center. Inhale, lengthen out with a halfway lift. And exhale to fold. Bring your feet hip width distance apart. Take your peace fingers and then wrap them around your big toes for a yogi toe lock, kata gustasana. Inhale is a halfway lift to lengthen the torso. Exhale is your deep forward fold. Bend your knees any amount. Elbows might splay out to the side. If you'd like this to be a little more restorative, bend the knees deeply and let the torso drape over the thighs. Shake out your head in one direction and the other. Mm. Your next inhale, release the grip of the toes. Find the halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale to refold. Inhale as you rise back up to mountain. Exhale, gather your hands to the space of your heart. Let's bring the feet either hip width distance apart. Oh, I'm gonna get my pup out of the frame. Nina, come on. <laughs> Nina's coming to say hi. <laughs> Let's bring the feet either hip width distance apart or big toes to touch. We're gonna take a 10 count through a chair all the way to our seat. Stretch your arms to the sky and then start to sink the hips low for 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five. At any point, you can bring your hands down to the mat for roof support. Four, three, two, and one. Settle the seat to the mat. Kick your legs out. We're in our Navasana boat pose. Belly draws up and in. <laughs> legs are extended out long. Lena, come on. Lena really loves when I come into boat pose. She's just going to sit here and encourage me and encourage all of you guys. Let's hold in this high boat. Belly button to spine. Reach the heart up. You can use the support of your hands behind your knees at any point you need. Lower down, half boat. Keep your shoulders and your heels lifted. Belly button to spine, full boat. Rise back up. Two more times. Lower down, half boat. Inhale, rise, full boat. Last time, lower down, half boat. Pausing there. Slowly and with control, settle all the way down to the mat. Release all the way down to the earth. Stretch your arms long overhead. Full body stretch. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Bend your knees, bring the soles of the feet to the earth. Knees point up towards the sky. Bring your arms back down by your sides. We're gonna set up for a bridge pose. All 10 toes are dialing forward. Feet are about hip width distance apart. Press into the palms, press into the feet. On your inhale, start to peel your hips up. Keep the chin tucked in towards the chest. Beautiful, really root through those feet. Maybe you walk your shoulders under your back and interlace the fingers, finding a little bit more lift through the heart. You try to soften through the glute muscles and really use the strength of your incredible spine to lift you. Root into your feet, maybe lift the hips up a little higher. One more inhale. Slowly release yourself back down as you exhale. Return the sacrum to root into the mat. Let your feet come wide out to the edges of your mat and knock your knees in towards touch, taking a moment to just stabilize through the pelvis, release through the spine, hand to the heart, hand to the belly, close the eyes. Inhale. Exhale, let go. One more round of breath here, inhale. And exhale. We'll make our way into one more round of back bending. If you would like another round of bridge, if that last variation felt great, feel free to move there again. Or if full wheel is in your practice and you still have that uplifting energy that you would like to expel, we'll come into a full wheel. You decide what back bend will serve you and then commit to five rounds of breath. Listen to that internal wisdom, let that be your guide. When you arrive in either your bridge or your wheel pose, Stay in that breath, stay present in your body. Inhale, exhale. Breath in and breath out. Awesome variations, yogis. After that fifth round of breath, slowly release yourself back down to the mat. Settle the sacrum to return to the earth. And when you arrive there, gently knock the knees from side to side. Letting the knees just gently release, finding release in the low spine. And from here, let's draw the knees in towards the chest. Bring your hands behind your thighs and start to rock and roll up the length of your spine. Take a couple spinal rolls here. Make your way all the way to your seat and cross the ankles, spit the knees out behind you and return to your downward facing dog. We're going to set up from your or <laughs> pardon me, for some hip stretches, bending those hips high, returning to your down dog. Feel free to flow if you need or breathe in the dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, sweep your right leg high to the sky, three legged down dog. Exhale is a lizard lunge. Step the right foot to the outside of your right hand. From here, let's drop that back knee down to the earth and untuck the toes. You might stay lifted here onto your fingertips, or if it feels good, start to soften down to the forearms or maybe all the way down towards the chest. For the first couple rounds of breath, keep that right foot fully rooted into the mat, kind of hugging that knee in towards your armpit. <sighs> And if it feels good, maybe you splay onto the outer edge of your right foot, let your knee open up. And you would use the support of that right hand to gently guide it. Breathing into that right hip, inhale. And exhale. Mm -hmm. 
you can stay right here if you'd like to take this into a quad stretch. Bend your back leg in half, reach behind you with your right hand as you open up through your right shoulder to clasp towards that left foot. Heel will draw in towards your seat, spiraling that left right shoulder open. If you have that foot, start to release it out. Return up onto the palms if you're not there. And then from here, we're gonna lift that back knee, engage the left leg, and then draw your right knee in towards your armpit. Float those right toes up. Getting into that core one more time. And then we're gonna come from here directly into our sleeping pigeon. Draw your ankle towards the left side, and then settle your right knee down towards the earth. Lengthen that left leg long back behind you. If you have a blanket or a prop that you'd like to use, you can bring it underneath your right hip for support. Take a moment, check in with that back foot. Make sure the top of the foot is pressing into the mat. And then draw your left hip slightly forward, right hip back. Melt the heart down, surrender into your sleeping pigeon. Come down onto the forearms and release all the way down to the mat. Finding a place of softness, of letting go. Returning back into your breath, letting it settle and slow down. Give me three more strong, connected, rooted rounds of breath. With every inhale, maybe find a little bit more depth in that breath and with every exhale, maybe let it be audible and release, let go of things that are no longer serving you. Slowly, mindfully moving with care, start to rise the torso back up, coming into your proud pigeon. Palms will press into the mat, tuck your left toes, lift that left knee, activate the leg, and then send your right leg high to the sky, three-legged down dog. Bend that right knee, stack right hip open on top of left, same scorpion dog stretch we started practice with, or option to flip your dog inside out, bringing the right toes to the earth, lifting the heart and sweeping that right arm overhead, pressing the hips up towards the ceiling. Flip dogs, we'll make our way back, all meeting in a three-legged down dog. Send that right leg high, downward facing right foot meets your left. Option to take a flow or stay in your down dog and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep your left leg high, three-legged down dog. Exhale as your lizard lunge, step the left foot to the outside aspect of your left hand. Soften your back knee down to the earth. Release it to the mat and stay lifted onto your palms or maybe surrender down to the forearms. First couple rounds of breath, hug that left knee in towards you. If it feels good, you might splay that left knee open, rolling onto the outer edge of your left foot, using your hand to gently guide your knee open. If you took that quad stretch on the other side, and that sounds good here, bend your back leg in half. This time reach behind you with your left hand to capture towards that right heel. Drawing the right heel in towards the seat, spiraling your left shoulder open. Staying broad and lifted through the collarbones. Inhale. And exhale. Gently release your foot if you have it. Return your palms to root down into the mat. Engage your back leg, lifting that right knee, and then hug your left knee in towards your armpit. Float that left heel up, belly button to spine, and settle that left foot over towards the right. Half pigeon, drop your knee down to the mat. Extend that right leg all the way back behind you. Draw your right hip slightly forward, left hip back. Maybe turn and gaze at that right foot. Make sure it's not sickling out one direction or the other, but the top of the foot is pressing to the earth. Support yourself with props, and then melt the heart space down. Release all the way to the mat. Coming into your sleeping pigeon. Finding that surrender and softness. Couple more rounds of breath here. Let go and let be.
When you feel even on this side and ready to transition out of this pose, use your next inhale breath to start to rise up. We'll plant the palms into the mats, engage the back leg, lifting that right knee, tucking toes, and then send your left leg high to the sky, come into your scorpion down dog. Bend that left knee, stack left hip open on top of right. Option to flip your dog inside out, lift the heart to the ceiling, or just continue to find that counter stretch and movement into that left hip as you circle it out. Flip dogs, meet me back in that three-legged. And then we'll all come into our final downward facing dog of practice. If you want one more vinyasa, feel free to move, to clear your energy, to prepare for coming down to the mat or stay in your down dog and breathe. No wrong decision, honor what your body needs. Returning to our home base of down dog, one more communal round of breath here. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, big open mouth sigh. Drop your knees down to the mat and make your way to your seat. Spit your legs out in front of you, lengthen the legs out long. Sit up nice and tall as you inhale, maybe kind of spread the sit bones away from one another. Sweep your arms up. And as you exhale, extend the arms forward, come into a fold. I want your palms to shine up towards the ceiling, not clasping the feet. From here, we're gonna slowly roll all the way down to the back. So start to unfurl the spine, keeping those arms stretching forward, belly button to spine, and then slowly, slowly come all the way down to your mat. Releasing all the way down to the earth, settling the back of the heart into the earth. Coming down into stillness, take a moment here to acknowledge what you need to finish your practice. It might be a supine twist, option to take eagle legs, maybe it's a happy baby, or you'd like an inversion of some sorts, a shoulder stand, a head stand. Finish your practice in a way that honors what you need right now. Maybe that means a little extra time in Shavasana, a little extra time in stillness. Take the next five or so rounds of breath. If you took an asymmetrical shape, a supine twist, allow yourself a couple rounds of breath on that opposite side if you haven't already. Over the next couple rounds of breath, can you allow yourself to feel complete? Allow yourself to be done for now and come into that final Shavasana finding rest. This is the most important pose of our practice. As you lengthen those legs out long on the earth, releasing your arms down by your sides, flutter your eyes to close. Maybe your hands release down by your sides for Shavasana, or if you'd like a hand to the heart and a hand to the belly to maybe feel a little bit more connection with yourself, that's an awesome option as well. And as you settle into stillness, allowing all of that beautiful energy and strength that you just created to settle back into the physical body, to fill you back up, to refuel. Let go of the control of your breath. Let your thoughts gently release. You allow yourself to resist the urge to fidget, to be in the stillness. Maybe it's uncomfortable, but know that this too shall pass. Just a couple more moments here in Shavasana. I'd like to offer a reading by His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. A precious human life, 
Every day, think as you wake up. Today, I am fortunate to have woken up. I am alive. I have a precious human life. I am not going to waste it. I am going to use all my energies to develop myself, to expand my heart out to others, to achieve enlightenment for the benefit of all beings. I am going to have kind thoughts towards others. I am not going to get angry or think badly about others. And I am going to do as much as I can to benefit others. When you feel ready to stir the body from your Shavasana, let your breath begin to deepen and slowly invite gentle movement to return to the fingers and into the toes. And as your breath becomes more expansive, allow your movement to grow. Circle out the wrists, the ankles, little gentle sway of your head from side to side and open and close your jaw and wiggle out the eyebrows. Maybe stretch those arms long overhead, come to a full body good morning stretch, lengthening from toes to fingers. And eventually finding your way onto whichever side is calling to you, pausing for a moment when you arrive there. Taking this opportunity on your side to set an intention for the rest of your day, to set the tone. Maybe it's the same intention or dedication that you use for your practice. Or maybe you would like to keep those words of the Dalai Lama close to the space of your heart and really work on benefiting others as much as you can today. Benefiting your being good to yourself in order to help that journey towards being the best version of yourself. When you feel ready to move, eyes open or close, use the support of your hands and guide yourself up to a comfortable seat. Settling the eyes to close if they open, soften your shoulders down your back and invite a slight tuck of your chin down into the space of your heart. As you inhale, circle sweep your arms up towards the sky, gather your palms to touch overhead. Grabbing a hold one more time of all that beautiful energy that you just created. And as you exhale, gather it down into the space of your heart, filling yourself back up, restoring and refueling. Inhale, big breath through the nose. Big audible exhale, let go. Draw your prayer hands up to your third eye center, the seat of your intuition. The slight bow of your head down towards the earth. The light, the love, and the joy within me recognizes, admires, and cherishes the light, the love, and the joy within each and every one of you. Thank you so much for taking time this morning to practice with me. Namaste, my friends. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Well, because William's doing all this chat stuff. Thank yeah. you, Mindy. <laughs> Thank you, Mindy. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, everyone. So nice to see all your faces. <laughs> um, tomorrow I'm teaching sculpt at 9.15 if anyone's feeling like they want to come join me. Uh, and then we have a noon yoga class as well with my mom, Christy. That's going to be a gentler flow. Uh, Friday at 9.30, I'll be back teaching a vinyasa. I think we're going to do lots of twists because I really need to detox. I don't know about you guys, but being at home has been kind of rough. Um, and then Saturday we have a 10 o'clock flow with Lisa, and then Sunday night we have Yin with my mom as well. So full schedule for you guys the rest of the week, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thank so you. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful day. You, you too. too. Yeah. Lots of great dogs. <laughs> right? Hopefully that wasn't distracting. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. Bye. <laughs> You like to sleep just as long as your people are in the same room with you. Just relax this one.